I need to damn hold my damn back out right quick. I'm only going to go in against my damn self. One, two, three, four, five. Nasty. Gotta get fucking nasty. I hate losing. Fourth, I'm not coming in third. I say fuck second. I want overall. That's it. My name is Jairus Wilson Props. Everybody call me PJ. Uh, I'm from Concord, North Carolina, right side of Charlotte. Born and raised, came out here. Came out here for school for uh, Morehouse College. Never graduated, but you know, going back soon, eventually one day. But yeah, now I'm out here, grinding type shit. Made a name for myself. So right now we are at Madhouse Gym located in Austell, Georgia. The next location will be at Mableton. It's the best gym in the whole entire United States, man. So hard work really means to me just grit, passion, it's drive, it's determination. Like you just gotta come in here, you just gotta grind. Like if you don't want it, you're not gonna get it. Period. You don't let nothing stop you at all. So working hard in the gym is an easy thing. It's meal plan, supplementation. It's just staying up with my coach. It's a day in, day out sort of thing. It's not just one day I just come into the gym and say, all right, fuck it, I'm ready type shit. It's just 365 days a year. Like my plan, my meal plans, every single day is structured. My sleep structured. My everyday livelihood is structured. I can't miss. There's no bad days. You have to have 100% perfect good days. And it, I know it's not possible, but if I push myself to make it possible, we're gonna see how close we can get to it. Right now we're in off season, so usually I should be fat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as you see right now, not really fat, but we're just more so focusing on just bringing in my legs, bringing the water back, and just more so making sure that I'm mentally ready for prep because prep takes a lot out of me. It takes a lot out of anybody who gets down to a 2%, 3% body fat level and mentally draining every single day, mentally hungry as fuck every single day, sleep fucked up, but you decide to come in here, you decide to do cardio, you still have to go to, yeah, still gotta go to work. Still gotta make money. Still gotta do your lifts because at the end of the damn day, it's somebody else right now that's out there grinding just as hard as I am. And I know this. I know it's every single damn day. But it doesn't matter who the fuck is going against me at the end of the damn day, because I'm gonna put myself 150% harder than what I did yesterday. Ended up doing bodybuilding because of the usual. Football didn't turn out well. Said fuck football, pretty much. And then started, you know, posing. My pose was shit. I wanted to do a show when I was in like freshman year of college. And literally, I didn't have enough money to do the actual show. It was like an NGA show. So I said, fuck it, it is what it is. But then now I'm just, you know, I'm a class of physique competitor, still an amateur. And then my goal is really just to literally kill shit. That's all I care about. Sweet, all I care about. So now I'm gonna do this shit by myself. Again, shout out to Jet North. Shout out to my coach Cam, Cameron Cheeks. It's that fucking easy. It's that fucking easy. Pick it up. Let's ride. Oh! 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 My last show that I did, I did a, I did a GoFundMe page. And my pet, and my literally my outside external family, uh, they supported me fully with this. Like they were like the main people. They, they were literally the main people who put money towards it. Cause I was broke as fuck. Like I was literally broke as fuck. Like literally, what I'm trying to tell you, like there been no way to help them do that show by myself. Like my family, like my pro's family, my Wilson family, like they literally came in and they made shit happen. If I needed food, I would literally, I would literally call up. My, one of my cousins would be like, yo, if you can help me out right quick, ah, uh, ah, uh, whatever. My man would just send me some bread. And I was like, shit, appreciate you. Cause I have a job. I was broke as fuck. Fucking do not be broke ass fucking bodybuilder. <laughs> uh, and then now, I mean, now I'm good. Now I'll tell you shit, you know, pretty, you know, pretty doing well for myself at this point, you know, just chilling. Living every day like it's my last and just balls to the walls training. Enjoy my life, got good friends, got good family. But still my family, like my mom, she's she's hundred percent with it. My dad, my brothers, my cousins, my family, everybody's with it. At first it was just like the fuck. 
We're going to quit school and go and do bodybuilding, essentially. I was like, no, I'm not. End up doing it. So long-term goal for bodybuilding would be end up somewhere in the top of the IFB Pro League by the time I turn 31. And I want to be able to show my kids, like, yo, your dad's a badass. Because you asked me the mentality that I have whenever I lift, right? When I was younger, I had a big-ass head, a little-ass, skinny-ass body, and I also have a speech impediment. So I get excited, you hear. But then, you know, so me growing up, I got picked on a lot. A lot of times, mentally, I had to go to that zone. I also deal with depression. I've dealt with suicidal thoughts. Sometimes going to that little deep, deep, dark place, it helps you pull the it helps you pull this shit, right? But then there's also a stress relief. Because of honestly, like, dude, like, in life we go through so much shit. Life isn't fucking easy. Life isn't fucking rainbows and fucking just Rainbows and fucking unicorns and shit. Life is fucking hard as fuck. Like, but I believe that if you can mentally be able to say, fuck it, I'm gonna focus on one thing. And I'm gonna be good at just one fucking thing. I'm gonna give it all I got. You will get there. No matter what the fuck. No matter what anybody fucking says. If you say, fuck it, this is what the fuck I want, and there's nobody on this fucking planet who's going to stop me, you'll be at the top. I guarantee you that. Because fucking, a gift is one thing, but grit, grind 24-7, that's something nasty. But when you have a talent and you're gifted at something and you're just like, fuck it. Like for me, like I watch a lot of, I watch a lot of sucky ass bodybuilders, right? They have shitty ass genetics. And I watch how they train. And they train harder than a lot of people. They train harder than a lot of bodybuilders. Cause they know they have shitty ass genetics. I'm talking about, they're just fucking just, they have, they have fucking fat ass waist, boxy ass frames. But they will come to the gym and they won't fucking miss a session. And they will miss a damn meal. They will miss nothing. Across the board, they're perfect fucking athletes. And those are the guys who come in shows and they kill the genetic freaks. Because they literally come into the gym and they grind, they say fuck every fucking thing. They don't care. They don't care what their girlfriend says, they don't care what their family says, they don't care about nothing. They just care about, about stepping onto to, to that stage. In the back of their head, if I got homies who go to Olympia, I have homies who go to Olympia damn near every fucking year. Most people can't say that shit. A lot of people can't say that shit, actually. Like, dude, like, and they grind day in, day out. And they see me and they're like, dude, you're gonna, you gonna be there, but you gotta grind for that shit. You're gonna do a lot of shit you don't wanna do. And so mentally, I'm always gonna be that little person in the back of my head. Oh shit, yeah. I'm little as fuck. I know people are showing it to stay 260, 250. But the thing about it is, I've trained with so many IP pros. Uh, Keon, fucking John, uh, Jarek, uh, fuck, it's a lot of them. Um, but just that, like, they tell me, oh, dude, you're, you're gonna be something. You're coming, keep on working. So I'm like, fuck it, keep on working.